I didn't expect my mama to go that way. I didn't expect my brother to go that way. I didn't expect him to do that or her to do that to me. And then even the government was slow in responding to my need. Amen. 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 It seems as though at the time of life when you really need God to do something, I feel the Holy Spirit in here. Whenever the time you need God to do something, God will let you know man can't help you, but I can help you. The man cannot do it. I can help you in your situation. I can help you. Uh, I can help you be delivered from whatever situation you find yourself in. Amen. That damage is forever imprinted in their mind. That damage forever imprinted into their soul of what they have been through. And they forever carry that memory. But how many know that the spirit of the Lord is here and he is able to turn your ashes into something glorious. He's able to take your spirit of heaviness and give you a garment of praise. Thank you. After the storm, Thank you. the news we saw, it and, and many of us may have loved ones sitting here right now that may have been there, you know, I mean, we have loved ones all over the state. And so we saw them standing. Some of them couldn't even go back to their homes. They were, they were living, they were living on the roofs for days. Amen. Waiting for their rescue. Amen. They were waiting on the roof for days. Waiting and seeing the helicopter come and fly past them and go to another house and pick them up. You haven't eaten anything. You haven't you haven't washed. You haven't done nothing. And all you see is crocodiles and alligators and everything eating up your loved ones while you're waiting for them to come and get you and pick you up, hoping that you have another breath for another day. Amen. Anybody ever been in a situation where? It seemed like you don't want to breathe anymore. Mm -hmm. You see everybody else get rescued, but it seemed like the helicopter just fly past you and go to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in a position, amen, where it seemed like you you can have a whole lot of, you know, you have a whole lot of money in your pocket and you can have a whole lot of money in the bank. But when you find yourself in a desolate situation, money can't buy you out of South. Come on, my, you, you can't pay your way out of that. Amen. amen. Even if they were to take out a mile, a wad of money and wave it at the helicopters, they still would pass them by. Amen. Come on. Children and family, water still raised up and everything is gone. They are sitting on the ruins Amen. of life. Hallelujah. They're sitting in the devastation of a storm. Mm. They're sitting in a place where they had no control over. They could do nothing but watch it. Just go away. I, 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 I'm, I'm talking to somebody in here. Have you ever just been somewhere in your life where you just see everything you had just go from you? Amen. And it ain't happening behind your back. It's literally happening right before Amen. your eyes. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, but God. But, but God. God. And so I read this scripture and the Lord was, was giving me an understanding. I said, Lord, what are you saying? He says, I want my people to know. That my spirit is here. And whatever ruins, whatever has been burnt up. See, ashes are something that.